Okay, so I'm taking a number two bristle brush and right up toward the center of this cow's head, there's these darks in here. And I'm going to, I'm using the, the end of my brush. You can see how I'm holding my brush just like this. And I'm using the end of that to put this on. I don't want to try to get real precise. These are just curls and things like that in the cow's hair that um, it's kind of matted up and tangled up and everything. So you don't have to get real precise. This isn't like painting the eyes where it's got to be in the right spot. It's got to be the right shape and everything. So I'm going to grab, and this is that's why I laid down the dark first. You could do it the other way too. But I laid down the dark first, and I'm probably going to go back over with some dark. Now I'm going to grab quite a bit of paint here. You can see on my brush, I got a nice... A bit of paint and I'm gonna go on very gently notice how I'm holding my brush it's a little daring oops I just went over my shadow area there we'll fix that later see that and I'm gonna start laying this paint down come right up to the shadow I grab some more and then I'm going to come up where we put this brown color and I gently lay it over it and in some spots I can actually kind of push it down ever so slightly now in some spots it looks like I might have got a little too cool with that paint so I'm going to mix a bit of burn sienna in there and just go back over it just to slightly warm that up grab some more of our white okay I'm gonna grab a little more of this uh, lighter paint and mix it up same color and in this like I said you're really gonna let the texture of the paint show not in not to an insane degree but when we're doing this it's the texture of the paint that actually gives you a lot of the effect that we're after And then over on this side of the shadow right here, that gets a little slightly darker and slightly warmer. So I'm going to grab a little bit more ochre and mix that in. And just carefully come over here and bring some of that white right up there like that. And now I'm going to grab a little more ochre and mix it in. I want to go slightly darker. And I'm going to come up in here and put some of the slightly darker ochre mixture over those darks we laid down. Not all of them, but some of them. I started out purposely a little darker than need be so I could easily mix into it more. And then right before we terminate into shadow, now those of you from last month's class, you probably remember this when we were doing that white rock uh, cliff seam. If you remember the areas right before, and this is pretty universal no matter what your subject is, before your um, light area terminates in the shadow, you have that area that gets a little darker and a little warmer right before the shadow. And that's what I'm going to do here with just a little bit more ochre on my paintbrush. Just kind of right on the edge there. And then you just go through. I'm going to clean up. You know, I have some white areas between the shadow 
and the paint I put in. Just going to go in and kind of clean those areas up, just cover them with paint. I did mess up the eye a little bit on this cow. We'll be able to fix that pretty easily. All right, I'm going to grab a little more burnt sienna and just a touch of viridian. I do not want to neutralize this too much because mixing this into the white is going to neutralize and cool it quite a bit so i definitely want to leave this a little warmer and i might add just a touch of ochre as well and i'm going to go over here and just put in dab in a couple little accents dark accents in here Now to really get this technique down, I would very strongly suggest if you have not to go and watch the monthly demo uh, on this part in particular, because I can't do this for the live session, but the monthly demo, I did some pretty good close-ups. Big thing too, when you're doing this is step back and look at it. So that stroke that I just put in right here, that's a little too jumpy, meaning it, it just, it jumps out too much. So I'm gonna go back to this lighter color with some of the ochre in it and just go right over that stroke very gently not push on it too much but just a little bit and that's going to um, help uh, lighten that a bit thanks for watching this short clip from my most recent live oil painting session our group oil painting at home meets online four times a month through zoom and we work on an oil painting together from start to finish members of the group interact not only with me but with each other while we paint, and they get live feedback on their work. Each session is recorded, which allows members to catch up on anything they may have missed or would like to see again. I also record myself doing the same painting privately in my studio with full commentary. This lets students see how I do the same painting from start to finish in just one or two sessions using a wet on wet technique. We also meet together for live Q&A and critique sessions, and not only that, but members get immediate access to all past painting sessions so they can learn how to paint a wide variety of subject matter at no additional cost. This amounts to hundreds of hours of instruction. Access to oil painting at home's live sessions are very limited and turnover is very low. So if you've not done so yet, sign up on the priority list by clicking on the link in the description below. Once the space becomes open, I'll let you know.